What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. And today we are reacting to Pop That Balloon or Find Love Senior Citizen. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. A wonderful. All right, well, let's bring out contestant number one. Contestant number one. Come on in there. Hello. You can stop right about there. Hello. How's it going? Going good. How are you? Good. Oh, good. Good. Tell me your name, your age, and what you do. Uh, this is Martin. I am 66, and I'm a retired insurance executive. I love that. Retired insurance executive. Okay. Ladies seem to like that. Tell they me, what to. are you looking for? They ain't pot life? yet. Uh, someone who's kind, uh, cultured, um, fresh. No, wait a second. I'm talking about my breakfast yogurt. Um, <laughs> oh, uh oh, someone wasn't feeling the yogurt. Okay, tell me some more. Um, Just a few more. Financially independent. Mm. Okay. And and they're gonna be living on my their, pension. You know what together? Mm. Yes. Oh, oh. Have their you know what together? Some people. Okay. Uh, Damn, at that age, uh, let me got ask you one more thing. Together? What are some of your red flags then? Uh, something that if someone does one of these things in a relationship, it's a no-go for you. Uh, it's you know real signs of insecurity and, mm. and acting crazy and stuff like that. Mm. Mm. Oh okay. yeah, some of us act a little <laughs> so crazy. Okay, we, we did get a few pop balloons, so let's uh, come yeah. on, walk on over and see what these real ones are thinking. Uh, hello, can you give me your name, your age, and why you popped? My name is Sharice. I'm over 65. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I pop because he used the word crazy, and other people have used that word describing me also. I don't when she started talking. I said, hey, let me stop. Kind of annoyed me a little bit. Hey, Sorry, okay. girl, don't be pointing at me. Apologize, though. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay, now then let me ask you this. Now, before he used the word crazy, is was he someone you were feeling? Was he your type? He's a nice looking guy. Let's get Thank that nice-looking guy facing just a little more that Thank way. Yeah, so that camera can see how, how lovely he is. Uh, and was she someone that's your type before she popped, or is she your? Probably middle of the road. <laughs> middle of the road. Sort of okay, kind. got it. Okay. Sort that of answer our question. Well, thank you so much. Let's walk down to some of our other uh, pops, maybe. Hello, would you share your name, your age, and why you popped? My name is Joy Demain. I'm over 60, and I popped when you said you wanted the person to be financially independent. Oh, okay. Okay. Are you not they? financially independent? Oh, I am. Oh, so why why is that a concern for you? Because I wouldn't want that to be a reason that someone was interested in me is that I could be a sugar mama or something. Wait, no, I don't got think it. she got no, what he said. He's just trying to make sure you got your shit together, man, and you ain't just trying to free us. Okay, that's fascinating. Uh, now, before you, you, he said that and you didn't like that, was he your type? Almost. <laughs> what was the almost? What, what did it? Was it the, the comment about financial independence? Yes. I just don't, you know, I don't think that that should be the primary considerations. So that makes sense. Now, I got to ask you, was she hey, that age, you got to stop being Is she still someone bro. that's your type? Um, middle of the road. Mm. Yeah. We got some middle of the road ladies. I don't want to be a sugar daddy, so. Mm. Yeah, I'm I mutual. feel that. Feeling mutual. Okay, I like me. Makes you like me more because I am yeah, financially yeah, independent. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. See? Fascinating. Okay. You are. Mm. Well, <laughs> but did you want? Did you want a balloon back, or you're okay? No. I am what I am. I am what I am. I That's am what I am. am. You am. feel? Uh, can you tell me your name, your age, and why you pop? I'm Linda, I'm 60, and I popped for the same reason. Financially independent usually equates into cheap. So, I also am financially independent. However, I'm old-fashioned. I like men to pay my way on dates. Mm. So that's a no, that's flag for me. Now, when you said that, did that mean you wanted them to pay for the dates, or are you going to pay for the dates? No, I'll I don't have a problem paying. Mm. I just don't want to be the sugar daddy. Mm. Yeah, that makes Does sense. That, but so it probably got played a, Great. a lot. You feel so, That doesn't change. He's got terrible, po nice person to talk to, but terrible posture. Mm. Oh. oh, wow. Wait, terrible okay. posture? What the All right. fuck? So, so he's, is he your type? Or I got terrible posture. Nigga, I'm old. What the? What, you, what more do you want? Like. Damn. 
Shotty going in at 60. She said, you got terrible posture. That man probably got back problems, bro. Come on. No. The posture. Yeah. Okay. Now, is she someone that's your, your type? She's very nice. Yeah. So not middle of the road this time. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Uh, can I get your name, age, and why you popped? My name's Patrice. And I'm 65. And the reason I popped was you don't really know what you want. You came out very insecure. Maybe the cameras made you nervous. What the but hell? But you were looking up thinking, well, what do I want? I wanted this. I want. So I just didn't see you didn't have that secure internal security to say, I want this. I want strong. What do you feel about that? Do you agree? Are you? Hey, fair enough. That's how I come across. But do you hey, know when you you're chilling. hard? You are like, strong. Man, I'm at an age. I ain't even. Okay. I'm just not a typical macho man. Mm, macho village people. Okay. I understand. Uh, now, is she someone that's your type? She's, yeah, she's middle of the road. Yeah. Oh, so we went the middle of the road. He's in the middle uh, of the road. Is he someone that's your type? Well, you know, if I got to know him, maybe he isn't so insecure. So, you know, he's got the height. That's good. Nah. You know, he's got most of the hair. That's good. <laughs> good. His smile. That's good. But the insecurity was, you know, first impression. So that's where I stand on that. First impressions are everything. All right. Well, let's walk it on back then because I believe that we have a few balloons that are not. You know what? Let me ask you this. Uh. This is a really deal-breaking question. Only on a real one do I ask this question. Uh, religion or politics? Now, do those things matter to you in a relationship? Should someone be super political, not political, super religious, not religious? Share with that. That might make a difference. Yes. I do like someone who is open-minded hmm. and who is uh, on the liberal end. Hmm. And with respect to religion, I'm sort of ambivalent, but I would say I'm more agnostic than... So I said, yeah. nah, okay. we Jesus over We did get right. a pop. It's a great question. I'm the only one that asked those kind of things. Let's come on down and uh, let's see why we got a pop. Uh, name, age, and why you pop. Hi, my name is Henri, and I'm 64. And I think you're really cute. I do. I, you, you got that height, nice eyes, the, the dimples, the whole thing is going. But I am deeply religious. Yeah, I understand. Hey, that's just so you do you think you could date someone that's deeply religious or um you know as long as it doesn't uh interfere with who i am hmm. okay i think it's acceptable but you, do you feel you could date someone that isn't deeply religious oh no because it will interfere because you be if equally, you're yo. really religious and that person isn't it's not going to be a good mix no matter how cute they yeah. are got it got it okay did we get a pop here you got a problem? Oh, you still have your balloons. Oh, she's oh, she's okay. she's her. Her heart on her back. Okay, got it. All right. Well, that was an important one. Uh, we can welcome back. We still don't have, we still have some unpopped balloons, which I love to see. Do you have an essential question that you want to ask these ladies to maybe narrow it down? Uh, an essential question. Yeah. Uh, what is um, the best date that you've been on? Hmm. Let's start here with name, age, and best date you've been on. My name is Rhonda. I'm over 60, believe it or not. And the hey, best look, date look nice I've ever gone 60. on was the guy just fixed lunch. Black, and we went to the park and just sat to get to know each other. Because a restaurant may be noisy, a movie, we can't have a conversation. And it was fabulous. I enjoyed it. You feel? Very good. Let's go to the next uh, name, age, and best date. Well, I'm over 50. And um, I would say that maybe the best date was when we took this fantastic uh, gymnastics class and um, we did all kinds of gymnastics and it was just a lot of fun very athletic and uh, I loved it wonderful let's go to the next we got two more let's figure out name age and best date my name is Liz I'm 67 and to be honest with you I haven't been on a date in a long time so I can't really answer it what about ever in your life you never had like a best date i mean Aww. i did have a best date but it's been such a long time ago i can't remember <laughs> Damn, got it but at least you know it was the best though okay awesome okay oh that, that's Fonson okay for you and uh, it, name man. age and best date. hi i'm rhoda i'm over 65 and the best date is always for me dinner and a show and we'll have plenty of time to talk before during and after 
Very like good. Mm. Yeah, okay, that well, let's back like it on up there. That's, that's, that's now I'm going to ask to bro. borrow Patrice's toothpick. Some food uh, and a I'm going to give that to you because they are holding at out any for you. Four lovely ladies. Uh, let's, let's just narrow it down uh, pretty significantly. I want you to eliminate two. I want you to pop two based on what you heard, based on what you've seen. Um, I want you to eliminate two. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hey, he was trying to shoot. <laughs> She was trying to get away from her. Hey, wait. Oh, okay. Oh, look. Well, let's start. She was trying to run away from that yeah, part. She ladies. wanted that. Uh, let's, let's just narrow it down uh, pretty significantly. I want Man. you to eliminate two. I want you to pop two based on what you heard, based on what you've seen. Um, I want you to eliminate two. Okay. Oh. She was trying to get away from that part. Like, okay, oh, my goodness. Wow. And then one more. One more. Oh, okay. Well, let's start uh, right here then. Let's start oh, right he here. Might want the, him uh, a you pop? <laughs> he might want him one. Probably, probably not my type. Mm, okay, tell me what is your type? Well, I just been like what I like. three times. <laughs> Damn, boy. Okay. But they were all kind of different. Mm. You know, and I think it probably takes a little more of getting to know somebody mm. and get inside the head. Mm. And not so much, you know, beauty is skin deep, but, mm. you know. Okay. So how can you tell she's not your type based on the, since it's internal for you? Yeah, I think. Um, based on her response or? Mm. Just based on what I kind of feel. Mm. Got it. Got it. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. Well, let's go down to the next one that you popped in. So uh, let's go down to the next one and uh, tell us why you popped. She seems like a heck of a lot of fun. Mm. Mm. She may not remember it. But, so I say, uh, yo, they're right. I'm going to show mm -hmm. you some. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now, you left your balloon unpopped. He was someone that was your type. Yeah, he was until he uh, said that he was married three times. <laughs> and that if he would have said that right away, I would have popped my balloon right away because that tells me he doesn't know what he likes. That's deep. Is she right about that? Do you not know what you like? Uh, no, she's not right about that. Mm, okay, you know what you like. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's walk it on back. Well, I got you doing some walking, uh, but that's a good thing. You know, cardio is great. We have two balloons unpopped for you. Let's we see, got two balloons on pop. So, uh, I'm going to throw it to the ladies and see if they have a question that they would like to ask this handsome real one. Do, in, do either of you have a question for him? What are you looking for specifically in a woman? So I'm looking for a companion for the rest of my life. Uh, someone who is retired or close to retirement and someone who I can spend all my days with and go travel with and have fun with and, and be oh, myself so. with. I'm open, I have my passport. <laughs> <laughs> Good, that I do so, too. Oh, oh, I like okay. her energy. Uh, did you have a question down there? Well, let me, let me, let me, go. you can say, well, come on with me, come on with me, because uh, they might have, she does have a question. Uh, what's your question? My only question is, why haven't you hurried up and picked me? <laughs> I know oh. the criteria, and it sounds like you meet the criteria for me for a real man, also. Well, I think it may be coming down to that. Whoa, okay. Hey, well, she I will might, she might have just, like, uh, bumped the other car out the way and just especially. took the lead. Uh, do you have a final question for either one of them? And if not, I'm going to have to have you pop one and... Maybe five years old. I think I'm ready to pop. Who you? Oh, yeah, ready? yeah. Pop. Soda probably won with okay. that little last well, statement. Whose balloon? Whose real one are you going to pop? I want one oh, on me. Oh. oh. Well, then. It was tough. Tell me why. Tough, Tell me. Yeah. How do Planet Fitness members feel about having access to tons of equipment in the judgment free zone for $15 a month? Tell me why you popped Rhonda's balloon. I'm telling you, well, I want one on me. I like the lady. They're both. Beautiful ladies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like them both a lot. I think I like I just the, the chemistry that I feel. Mm. A, a little bit. Oh, yeah. She you know, turned. I, they fit each yeah. other, yeah. man. Yeah. I I like already, I wow. Can okay. Tell. Well, let's have her come on up then. Come on up with me. You're going to stand. Stand right here with me. Yeah, you won't be needing that. Let me just ask a final. Let's step right here with me just in case. Now, let me ask you this. These are some of my final questions. Uh, do you think that he could be your real one? Absolutely, I think he can Man, be my real one. And do you think she could be your real one? 
I think there's a possibility. Okay, yeah. then uh, I'm going to say, can we clap it up? Because this is a real one connection. We got ourselves two real ones. So I'll, uh, yeah, I'll take that mic. I'll take that mic. Oh, boy, oh, they're ready up, to go. Man. All right, come on out there, folks. Oh, my God. Clap it up for them, folks. Clap. Yeah, wow. Yeah, we got some real ones. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's why I like these shows, real man. One. You got to think, man. Like, they actually put in love together bro you never know them folk probably like spend the rest of their life together for real so stuff like this bro i, I really like it, bro so come on come on are you ready for me now hey, some hey, of the sure uh, that balloon pop that more. shit be you. on some uh tell me other your shit name, but some of these shows you know? be dope i'm rick like, davis like i'm 77 and i'm a consultant Hmm, a consultant. Okay. Uh, consult me on this. What are some of the things you're looking for in a I'm real one? Like an artist. What am I looking for in a real one? Mm -hmm. For someone that's sexy. I'm looking for someone that's sexy, that's fun, that likes to travel. Turn up. And that enjoys the finer things in life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, and what are. Oh. And yes, what I don't are think some she, of your I don't think she red gonna have flags? Nobody, some bro. things that if someone in a relationship does some of these pretty. things, it's a no go for you. Let's see. I'll start with politics. Hmm. So if someone's a Donald Trump fan, hmm. that's a deal breaker. Everybody okay. pop. I, don't, I guess we don't have any Trump fans. No balloons popped on that. Oh, with Trump. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll ask one more question. Oh, oh yeah, give me some more. Yeah. So jealousy. Yeah. See, I, I, I can't hang with that. Can't go for jealousy. Okay. He and laid security. back. Can't he cool. This stage in life. No. I feel that. We did get one popped balloon. Good thing it wasn't over the Trump uh, thing. But let's head on down and see what's happening here. Uh, and you'll stop right about there. That's perfect. Hello, would you tell me your name, your age, and why'd you pop? I'm Linda. I'm 60. And I pop because I can't trust a man who wears glasses, sunglasses. And oh. the, uh, wind, the, uh, the eyes are the windows to the soul. And so yeah. when someone hides that, they're hiding who they really are. And I don't like that. If only you'd asked, Linda, I would have been glad to take them off. And now he's putting them back on. Wow. Okay. Oh, oh. Damn. Well. Oh. Now let's, let's. Okay, hey, it's up to you. Hey, you, hey you no, the shade. Now, do you think he like was your shade. type? Before you did with... No. Was it the glasses? Yeah. And other things, too. Do you want to tell us those other things? Oh. If he's not my type, I'm not his type. So it goes both ways. Is that true? Could she be your type, regardless? Of sure, I like brunettes. Yeah, yeah. But not just no real one. Okay. Well, we did get two more pops right here, so let's just go to them. Would you tell us your name, your age, and why'd you pop? My name's Patrice. My age is 65. Patrice, why you pop? And the Patrice, reason tell I us. popped, okay, I thought what she thought, and I about to give I mean, you, you a chance. Maybe you can speak on why you're wearing the glasses because that is kind of a bad thing for first impressions and then well there's a well, there's a few reasons so i was going to let you wear the glasses but once you acknowledge what she said you immediately put them back on and then to go what? with the fact you're a little short and a little insecure because you don't talk very loud and i would break wait them. hold you just calling everybody insecure, nah? And then the thing about it, why is you going off with the what she say? You sh you need to go off what you think, like. God, dog. I'm a little. I think well, I might be a little too wild for you. She sound like wild. the young she girls on the younger pop balloon insecurity. videos. I, I think you, you failed on that one, but good luck to you. All right then. Now, was he your type before the really slammed himself gone because he put me down just now in wait, wait. security? I'm Yo, bro, am I tripping? <laughs> you just called him man insecure. And then you said he slammed you down, but it ain't even say much. What the Let's go to them? Would you tell us your up, name, bro. your age, and watch your pop? My name's Patrice. Oh, look, I my can't age make this is 65. Up. And the reason I popped, okay, I thought what she thought, and I about to give you a chance. Maybe you could speak on why you're wearing the glasses, because that is kind of a bad thing for first impressions. And then, well, there's a, well, there's a few reasons. So I was going to let you wear the glasses. But once you acknowledge what she said, you immediately put them back on. And then to go with the fact you're a little short and a little insecure, because you don't talk very loud. And I would break you. I'm a little, I think well, I might be a little too wild for you. Well, 
Wow. I'm not sure you're such a great judge of character because insecurity, I, I think you, you failed on that one, but good luck to you. All right, then. Now, was he your type before? The really slammed himself gone because he put me down just now in about insecurity. I'm so not insecure. No, I'm wild. No, no I was saying. <laughs> Wait, I was saying what the? F- oh, what? Huh? Yeah, she took I'm time. You were way wrong on that. Oh, well, that was just my first impression. I'm just a little loud and you're really quiet. So it might be, could be opposite of tracks, but off, you know, <laughs> you know first impression, yeah. I just might break you. In this case, I think a positive times a negative is making a negative, which is a math rule. Uh, but oh, that's okay. Let's go <laughs> for the next Let's one. Let's go. Oh, Thanks for the next. I appreciate that. It's not really true, but it's great to hear. Okay. All right. Now let's go for the next one. Name, age, and why'd you pop? Uh, Liz Bauer. 67 and damn uh, is it just, just me she or said, she's sweating hard damn sorry to sweat she didn't like the sunglasses you took them off and then you immediately put them back on so this just tells me you, you don't listen and if people Wait, don't what listen the fuck? Then, you that know, ain't her, his mom? In a good relationship okay well, there you go. You pop so violently, uh, virulently, you have some of the balloon left on your, uh, okay, that's okay. Uh, but so, so before you popped, before you popped, uh, was he someone that was your type? No. No. Why not? Uh, just the physical. Mm. I wasn't, there's, I didn't feel any chemistry. Got it. Uh, was she someone that was your type before she popped? Uh, okay. So it's kind of in there. Kind of in there. Mm, and a cougar too. Okay, well, well, let's walk it on back then. Uh, we're not done oh, yet. We still have some that have not pop balloons. You're looking pretty darn good, my man. Okay. We'll just uh, make sure we keep facing that way, okay, just in case. Now, I could ask another question, uh, or do you have an essential question you'd like to ask these ladies? Just like a maybe one or no, I like that vest he got on. That's religion. Pretty, I have no issues with religion. Okay. Pretty, pretty pretty gator, except for politics when they're extreme. Got it. Okay, so you're open to any religion. I am, sir. Okay, that could. Okay, no pops there. Uh, let's go for one more. Now, what about previous marriages? Have you ever been married? Yes, twice. Okay. Uh, oh, it's not. It's not popping. That's not a popping question. Okay, or popping response. Uh, okay. So what I'm going to do is. I might have to throw it to you. I might have to give you a toothpick. If I can actually borrow yours, uh, Linda, your toothpick? No? Oh, we don't have what? Oh, oh, you man, you dropped it like it's hot. Wow, that's how. Okay. Some of y'all were aggressive with that. Okay. I might have to let you borrow this, Ricky. And uh, I want you to eliminate two just based on what you see. We kind of asked some questions. We got Who to know. Popping, uh, based on appearance, I need you to pop two. Wow. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Mm. He, he mm. Said, okay, wait. let's start here. Uh, can we get uh, why did you pop her balloon? Uh, not not any particular reason, but I think I found some of the other ladies a little more attractive. Mm. Okay, we appreciate that honestly. Now, can you give your name, age, and why you had your balloon unpopped? I'm Stacy, and I'm over fifty. And and what do you want to know? Why did you have your balloon unpopped? Unpopped. Uh, because it's what's inside that counts, and I'm just waiting to hear more. Mm, waiting to hear more. Okay. Okay. Spicy, now, you said she's like re- not you really your type of kind of what, what made her not as intriguing as the other ladies. Well, no, I didn't say that she wasn't my type. I just said that I found some of the other women. More. Right. What made them more attractive? Or what made her yeah, less attractive? Good. We'll focus on that's her. That's taste. Hmm. Maybe, maybe a sense of style. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, did, is he your, your type? Physically? No. Mm, okay. But like you said, you're willing to see what's inside. Things like that. Okay. That's wonderful. All right. We did get one more. Uh, you popped one more down here. Uh, I'll ask you first again. Why did you pop this lovely lady's balloon? Really kind of the same thing. Um, uh, just some of the other ladies were a little bit more attractive to me. Okay. Now, before you had your balloon popped, uh, was he? Is, is he your type? Was he your type? There are bits and pieces of him that are. I think he's adorable. But his shirt is wrinkled and that really it's a style thing actually it's not wrinkled (laughs) it's a style thing okay well then i suppose i'll take it back but to me it looked wrinkled but i think you're adorable so there you go well thank you thank you all right adorable i like that for you i love that for you all right let's walk it on back uh because we do have that are unpopped ricky so you're still looking pretty good um 
Ladies, do you have a question? I'm trying to guess Ricky? who he gonna pick. Let's see. Uh, yes, yes, let's come on down. Uh, name, age, and your question. Hi, my name is Henri. I'm 64. Hi, Henri. Hi, I, I love your style. I see your shirt is crinkled all over, so that's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, do you have a problem with dating someone that's taller than you? No. Okay. Mm, that's a good question. Wow, all right. All right, let's back it on up. Let's back it on up. Um, so it looks like you've got three balloons left. Did you have a question for these lovely ladies before I make you pop one? Sure, sure. Uh, my question would be uh, kind of in two parts. Do you like to travel and do you enjoy spending time outside in nature? Hmm. Let's start right here. A name, age, and answer to his question. My name is Rhonda and I'm over 60, believe it or not. I love spending time outside when I can. Just sitting in the park, listening to music. Um, Love it. Okay, let's go next. Walk a little with me. Name, age, and answer to his questions. My name is Cherise, and I'm over 65. And um, I forget what the question was. He said, do you like to travel, and do you like like going outside and having fun, spinning? I'm not a good listener, so maybe you should think of what? Oh. <laughs> um, oh, that was a mistake. Okay. okay, we'll grab her another one. Let's get her another one. Let's get her another one. That's okay. Mistakes are okay. So do you like to travel, and do you like spending time outside in nature? I love to travel, but I don't like to camp. And I can't stand camping. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nature. Well, who doesn't like nature? We're all part of nature. All right. All right. Let's go to our final real one, lovely lady. Name, age, and answer to his question. Hi, my name is Henri. I'm 64. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Nice to you. Um, I love to travel, but I'm honestly not real big on being out doors a lot like I like it in increments I like sitting on the beach I like taking short walks but I'm not really into just like hanging out in the sun and you know but I love nature okay all right let's walk it back uh, unless you are ready I'm about to ask you this either go way uh, I think he's gonna pop pick, one uh, based on the responses to that question you gotta pop one okay. I think gonna pick what do you want to pop feel free walk do your thing or mm -hmm. Love nature. And time out. Mm, stay there for me. Stay there for me. Uh, so just tell us, why did you pop? Well, spending, outdoor, uh, spending time outdoors in nature uh, really is important to me. The camping thing isn't necessarily a deal breaker, but I really like spending a lot of time outdoors and, and uh, connecting with nature is really important to me. That's cool. All right, all right. And now you had your balloon on pop for a minute. Is he someone that's okay, your type? Okay. Yeah, he is. He's got very kind eyes, and I like his earring piercing. And I think he's got a little bit of a wild side to him. I don't think he's quiet at all. <laughs> is she right about that? I think she's right about that. <laughs> all right. You right. All right. It's a shame you popped. She, she, wanted to, she wanted to get wild with you. All right. You've got two lovely ladies left that have not popped their balloons. Um, do you have? A final, another question for them as we start to narrow this down? Yeah. Um, what would be your dream vacation with me? Hmm. Let's start with Charisse this time. Tell us dream vacation. I would love to go back to France. I love the wine there, and I love Paris, and I love, j'aime beaucoup le français. I love French. I'm a Jean -Jean. Yeah. He gonna so pick up. I said it. I called it. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, let's go right back here. And, uh, my dream vacation with you would be to go to Rome. I went there before the pandemic to sing with a group of ladies, and it was awesome. But being with that special one, I think it'll be totally different. Nice. All right. I don't want to make you pop know. yet, unless you already have in your mind who you're going with. Do you have, you're still kind of sure. teeter-tottering? Uh, I want to offer to the ladies real quick an essential question from either one of you for Ricky. Do you have either of you have an essential question? Yes. Were you a hippie? Kind of. Yeah. Is that is that a good thing or a bad thing for you? No, it's it's neither good nor bad. I was just curious. Just hippie. Okay, Everybody got it. All right. Turn. Well, Ricky, <laughs> unless you have one more that's going to determine your real one connection, I might need you to pop one. Unless you have one more final question. Yeah, I have one more question. Okay. How much do you enjoy cooking? Mm, let's start right here. I cook on a regular. I have oh, to. Oh yeah. You better. Hey, you better I go enjoy. With your sister, it's bro. relaxing. Okay. Oh, and what do you like to cook? What's your favorite thing you like to cook? Fried chicken, cabbage, candy yams, oh, cornbread. Yeah. You want a pound cake? 
Oh, I might go what? home with her. Oh my <laughs> hey. goodness! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not my job. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna leave with that meal. That's my favorite too, man. Okay, let, I'm sorry. Let me get focused. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. You. I see, but you, what you well, cook? Well, I prefer to just add heat to things. You're a microwave girl. Man, well, microwave well, mama. Or just, you know, in the oven, but just heat things. Well, so I'm not yeah, much of a cook. I'm probably. Probably, so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Uh. Well, that you was gonna die of starvation, but I don't think they do. You gotta pop. You gotta make a decision based on these two lovelies, these two real ones. Nah, that's... Hey, hey. Was... Hey. Well, yeah, hey, I don't think we're way too shocked, a man uh, hearted we'll to his stomach. I just said <laughs> I like to put hot question. water. Uh, Ricky, tell me, why don't you pop? <laughs> that nigga some, some <laughs> noodles. That was that was kind of a deal breaker for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, and heat. I'm thinking maybe she likes really spicy, really hot food. Mm -hmm. No, she was well, just talking yeah, I'm about Canadian. Water. I don't like that. Yeah, the, not liking to cook. Cause, yeah. I mean, I like a woman that cooks. I like to cook. I like to cook with a woman. Oh, oh shit. I got you. Now, now before, be whipping uh, it up. Uh, you just the, the cooking thing. Was she sauces. your type? Possibly. Okay. What's the possibly? What could have made her for sure the type? The cooking? Well, that would have helped Most a lot. Definitely. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Let's step on back. Uh, I think you got a real one. So, hey, you know, Rhonda, just step on a little close to me. Step on a little close. I got a question. Hey, I got a few yo, questions. Man, chick, okay, clap it I up. I got a few clap questions. Uh, just two. Uh, do you think that he could be your real one? Absolutely. I like the wild side. I'm visual. I knew he was fashion. Um, he has young energy. Mm, you want young energy? Yes. You need me. No, I'm just joking with the yam. That's okay. It's okay. And uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to like, hey, uh, no, think man, we got a Sure. Can we clap it up? We got a real one connection that was here. Up. Put yeah. them together and send them home. I'll, I'll Put them together and send them out. Y'all, get it on off. Maybe she'll cook you some fried chicken and yams, no, my man. Yeah, tell you, clap boy. it up. Clap it up one more time. Said, she wow. sealed the deal when she said pound. Let's get ready for the next one. Let's get ready for real one can my next real one come on down come on down hey i'm gonna tell you welcome, right welcome. now them last three women don't get it together they're gonna be going home alone now y'all better y'all better y'all better, better get right get your shit together now would you welcome, please welcome. tell me <laughs> wow <laughs> and what was that oh we'll get there oh okay i <laughs> Oh shit! Don't don't do my boy like that, nah, man. Damn. Rhonda, just step on a little close Damn, to me. Damn, I thought close. I, was... I got a question. Hey. I got a few questions. Help me, Rhonda. I got a few questions. Uh, just two. And Shada uh, that said she that just he could be your real one. Absolutely. I like the wild side. Well, what the? I'm visual. I knew. Feet on off. Maybe she'll cook. Feet on off. Maybe it's there. My name is there. Oh. Okay. I will pay the rent. <laughs> yeah. Let's get ready for hey, this. Let's that nigga ready. had to throw his big card on the table, bro. I said, fuck it. I'm going to pay the rent. Yeah, y'all did my one? boy like Can that. My next real one, come on down. Come on down. That nigga ain't even well, get off well, behind the curtain good enough. Tell me. Shot it. Wow. <laughs> and what was oh. that? Oh, we'll get there. Oh. Okay. I. We'll pay the rent. <laughs> that was a little fast. Let, let's start with this. We didn't even get to name yet. Can you tell us your name, your age, and what you do? Okay. My name is Fontaine Robinson. My age is 67. I own a small business called Always Clean, and I'm also an actor. And I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, by the way. I know. From the East Coast. Okay. And let's go with this. Uh, we hey, John Mason, who had a pop again, bro. Uh, what are you looking for in a real one? What are you looking for? Uh, somebody who cares about themselves, who's ambitious, mm -hmm. and um, who's passionate about something in their life and they're not afraid to go out there and reach out and get it and grab it. You know, don't let nothing hold you back. You know, yeah. just take a chance. Life is about taking a chance. If you don't, you'll never know. So it's just taking a chance and see what happens. So I think maybe all oh, y'all might be in that category. Take it a little bit. Okay. And uh, let's go for one more question. Okay, uh, go ahead. What are some red flags that you have in a relationship? For example, if the lady does something. Uh, greedy. Flag. Greedy. Greedy. Always want, want, want. Doesn't take care of himself. People on the East Coast, they're into fashion. I know it's out here in California. I don't really see that. You know, but on the East Coast of New York, Chicago, and Boston, they're dressing. So out here, I don't see a lot of that. So just someone who likes to look nice all the time and not afraid to 
open right, up. Buddy got two. All right, so two see chicken bones. Right. Right. Well, we did get some popped balloons. Some yes. real ones oh, broke okay. their own hearts. So let's come on down see. and see yeah. what's happening. Let's start right here with this wonderful real one. Name, age, and why you pop. Hi, my name is Henri, I'm I'm 64. Uh huh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Are you single? Yes, I am. Oh wow! We're so all single. Right now. Okay. So, <laughs> what do you like in a man? Well, let me. Ask, I asked her why she popped. So let's okay. let okay. I'll do my job for a okay. brief moment. Uh, why did you pop? Well, it looks like those are chicken bones. Right, right. This is from my let's grandmother. Okay. Yeah. Yo. She's from the she's from the um from the south. She's Indian, Cherokee Indian. That's beautiful. So it's, she passed it on to me. So I had this about like 15 years. Okay. This is the second. This is the second one. I, I went to a friend's house and his dog ate the other ones. Oh. So I didn't know he was that hungry, but so this is another one. <laughs> so can you imagine that? <laughs> no, yeah. I can't. So, uh, no, it's just that. It's it sounds like unique a little bit. It's, it, it, it's, it's unique, yeah. but also it's a little scary. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. On the voodoo side. Oh, uh, not too much of that. No, my grandmother just, anything your grandparents tell you, it's always for real. She's been through the storm. Okay, and you I remember you, that. I appreciate yeah. it. You look very nice. Yeah. Thank you very much. And you do too, as too. Thank you. Thank you. So it was the the bones the bones that like yeah, threw you off hey you should like a, what are they let's see, see if i take you the bones at krill i was you know what i'm saying <laughs> not on the bones okay <laughs> okay fascinating uh all right we'll move forward after that okay. all right can we get your name and age and why you pop joy domain i'm over 60 years old mm -hmm. and it's just that you're wearing bones yeah. and i don't eat things that have bones yeah. so that that's very um you know, that's a reason for me to yeah. pop my balloon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it could be a culture thing. Like I was telling her, my grandmother, you I, know what I mean? But I don't see what you're saying. I love that you love your grandmother. Right. And, right. and uh, that right. pa grandparents are really precious to, to me. me. Exactly. You could have left that on right. the, on the, um, but it could have put that on the, um, the window in the car. What you call it? The little, some, the, the window thing that be inside the car. What you call it? The rear view mirror shit? Fuck it. You know what I'm talking about. The thing that be in the car. He could have hung that up in the car. Bones on yeah. you. Ah, yeah. It's like an art form. But you know what? A lot of people want me to make them some. And I didn't even know that. Sure. But there are going to you know? be people who eat meat. Right, 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 right. Well, a little bit. So that's what it is. But it just has some significance to it. But, I understand yeah. that there's okay. a reason okay. for it. I think that's okay. Can we just zoom in on those bones since that's whatever? Let's face yeah, it. Yeah, because Let's get those bones in frame. Yeah, bones. it's giving. Yeah, hey, yeah, bro, you you got you can't do it like that, OG. You can't you can't come out there like that, OG. I'm telling you right now, that would do it. That would that wouldn't got them balloon pop that bone like that, bro. You can't do that, bro. They thinking you got they ain't a voodoo priest or something, bro. With these That's things suffice. on your neck. All right, now before um you saw the bones or and if he didn't have the bones, would he be your type? I saw the bones right away. <laughs> if he didn't have the bones, would he be your type? He could be my type. Wow, well, yes. could be, but not for sure. Not with them bones. Well, it's just, bones. you know, the bones are an bones overwhelming are man, I just man. Man. He's wearing bones. You should have yeah. took yeah. that, yeah. bro. But now he's blocking them. Yeah. 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 I can see that you are precious and yeah. sweet. Thank you, and you are too, man. You're sincere. Thank you. You got a nice yes. smile, by okay. the way. All right, let's move forward. Let's move da -da 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 -da. Name, age, and why you pop. I'm Linda. I'm 60. Same reason. Mm -hmm. The bones. I'm Damn. a long-time vegetarian. I love animals. Yeah. Made me think of a chicken. Also, you know, I'm, yeah. I've am i lost too many dogs in my life, yeah. and it's, like, just heart-wrenching. Yeah. And so, yeah, anyone that promotes mm -hmm. uh, the killing of animals mm -hmm. or wears oh, yeah. it as yeah. a show of fashion it's like it's yeah, not for me we're not gonna make it okay sorry honey yeah i like animals but i'm not an animal lover so i but uh, you're passionate about that <laughs> so uh, yeah we wouldn't connect but god bless you though yeah. your sincerity i don't love them no, not to eat that chicken yeah, uh, we'll get back there Let, let's uh we'll go but we'll finish we'll up here and then we'll move and walk back okay. uh let's make sure we're facing that camera yeah uh name age and why you pop my name is patrice i'm mm -hmm. 65 mm. and uh yeah that voodoo uh, yeah. Bones. yeah, yeah. And now you said you're indigenous. See, oh. you know, you, did you say those are from an indigenous witch doctor or? No, no, what the? Hey, oh. hey, oh, the indigenous yeah. part, Cherokee. Yeah, yeah. See, I love it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, she's saying. Hey, she's saying what she's thinking for real. Put the voodoo 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. The wearing that shit threw me off too now. I ain't and gonna care. Here, yeah. And you spoke you speak very well. Yeah. And and that's a plus. Right. Thank you. And uh but that's just so yeah. I couldn't date you it's with too much. No, yeah, my cat would go You wouldn't you wouldn't kiss me or hug me? Not with the bones. Oh, I'll say that's why. And, and you know, it's yeah. a religion and it's your choice, and yeah. I think that's right. great because, you know, we all love our grandmas. Right, right. I, mean, I got grandmas. Oh, that's not grandmas. So really. if I get rid of these, you would date me? I would, but they would still be hanging in your room. Right. And I would know that. So I couldn't date you, go out with you to the club with these on? Meet up. Okay. But, you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens after yeah, the show. Yeah. I think that's pretty clear. That's deep. Let's go to our last okay. lovely lady. Uh, name, yeah. age, why you pop? Liz, uh, 67. Uh-huh. The only reason why I popped, I didn't feel any physical attraction. Okay. So that's it wasn't great. the bones for you? The bones. Didn't nothing at all? No, nothing okay, about the bones. Okay, good, it was good. Just physical. That's honestly good. Yeah. I got like three or four bones, boom, boom, boom. You said, I just didn't. Mm. It's, okay, that's I got it. you. Now, is she someone that's your type? No. <laughs> no, I don't think so. What makes her not your type? Ah, uh, she's not sure. You know what I mean? I need somebody. I'm not what? Sure. She's not sure of herself. You know what I mean? No, no. Yeah, and you just do just do a dot at me, but yeah, you're okay. Well, I, I don't think I could date you. Okay, okay, that's cool. that's you're great. Cool. All right, let's walk it on okay, back. Let's, let's we did get another pop back yeah. here, a little moonwalk moon in honor of Michael. We did get a pop. I think it was back here with the lovely. Go ahead. Accidentally pop. Go ahead. I thought you said you didn't like animals. No, I'm not an animal lover. Okay. But I, I don't mind animals. But she was talking about her animals, how oh, fashion she, she is. Okay. But I'm not an animal lover. I do love animals. So I understand about the killing and all that. Yeah. But listen, this, this doesn't represent all that. No. Yeah. This so you're not like, an animal lover, but you do love animals. Right. You know, since, <laughs> that makes no sense. No, 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 no. It did mean to pop at this point. Yeah. Right. But see, if you have 50 cats, I wouldn't want to date you. Yeah. See, that's tr- I love animals, I not 50 cats. Yeah. yeah. Nah. See, that's what it is. Not so, over the top. You are glad some you people are over the top that? with their animal love. Because it's like he can't make up his mind. He loves, he doesn't, he loves them, but he doesn't love, I don't know. No. It was a little confusing to no. me. You know, burnt side of the brain. Uh, uh, and I changed my mind. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go again. Now, go before he said the animal love, well, we'll stay with this one real quick. Yeah. Now, before he said any of that, was he, you had your balloon unpopped. Was he your type? Well, I did see the chicken bones. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah, wow. but that bad. That was a bad fashion statement. You. Nah. <laughs> she gave me this. I'm going to keep this. So okay. I, that, yeah. okay. okay. I, it's not for me to say. Yeah. And God bless you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go to our final lovely lady. Name, okay. age, and why you pop? I'm over 50, Stacey. And, um, well, y- the bones were kind of weird. and oh. um, But, you know, it's just, um, it's too dark. Yeah. But you know something, this is the first time I really got bad bone stories from a lot of people. A lot of people like them. But everybody's yeah, individual. Well, this, you're, you're, you're a new breed. You're a new breed. But y'all are the first bone, 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 bone. No, no, no. But a lot of people really, 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 really like this. So, but I can understand y'all's feelings. So, but well, well uh, it was the insistence on the bones being so fantastic. Yeah, sure. So, um, yeah. it, it, it's I, I, okay you know. once in a while, but yeah. to make it first, you know. Would you date me? Would you date me? Without the bones. Without the bones, but the, but you can't forget the bones. Yeah. The, uh, Where are those bones at? Are they in the closet and you're going to see? Well, well, the thing is, um, I need the sense of humor. Mm. And I okay. Did, and uh, there was too much seriousness about the bones. And, and if the bones... <laughs> well, who knows? We could be at dinner, I can make you funny and make you laugh. About the yeah, bones. yeah. They're like an anecdote, yeah. like a, I mean, a, um, anecdotal... But you know what? a bone that, that from everybody or not, you can't leave with one. Yeah. 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 But, but I didn't... But see, Damn, it, it also buddy. be a cultural thing. She understands it. Maybe she understands me. And then y'all might be different. And that's what it is. But I, I say I respect all your answers. Yeah. I just, yeah. want, I just want to see the humor. Yeah. Got it. Okay. All right. No, 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 no. Just, just spare what you just spent for your parents. We'll walk it on back. Okay. Uh, Fontaine. Thank all of you. It looks like uh, all of the real ones pop their hearts. Right. Um, but I sure do thank you for coming out. You still are a real one. Can we still clap it up for this thank real you, one? Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, I'll thank take you. that, Mike. Thank okay. you. You can head out that way. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. They like the shoes. They like the shoes. They like the shoes. They like. The... And he's very sweet. Yeah, he's very sweet. All right. Thank you. We want chicken wings. Let's get ready for our next contestant. They climb. All right, let's bring out our next real one. Well, you know better than I to come out there with no bones, man. Come on. Mm -hmm. Somebody that um, uh, is uh, always uh, in a good mood and ready to hug and... and, uh, Not always in a good mood. We'll get there. Damn. 
Continue. So is it? Well, so uh, somebody I'm, who um, I can it, see her know, on a TV show, is, bro, uh, like a movie or find, something. Find it very easy to give. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Let's go for one more. Okay. Uh, what would you say is some of your red flags in a relationship? If the if the woman does this, it's a no go for you. Uh, women does um, well. You know, I I, I do, would not want the woman to depend on me for her entertainment. I'd want her to have her own interests. And well, there we go. <laughs> Keep going. Her own interests. Her own interests, so that she's not depending on me to entertain her. Hmm. And because uh, I have my own interests, I mean, I play a lot of tennis and. Um, I uh, do a lot of reading and uh, I'm, I'm into cooking, I'm into a lot of things and uh, um, I would like the person that I'm with to also be into things and uh, we can meet at the end of the day and say how was your day? Got it, okay. And I don't want anybody to get the wrong impression, I mean I, I do want to travel and go out and have a companion, have a friend and a lover but uh, you know, I just want to make sure that the person whom I'm with uh, on a day-to-day -day basis has things they like to do by themselves. Got yeah, it. I think All right. I think want oh, to, okay. want to space Well, let's start to walk down. We did get a few time. pop balloons. Not too many, though. You're still looking fresh. Still That's looking good. Uh, let's stop right here. Let's go name, age, and why you popped. Hi, Damien. My name is Henri, and I'm 64. Tell us why you popped. I popped because I think when we get a certain age it is dependable on us entertaining each other and i don't mean like we got to be laughing and talking and like all day or anything like the pope is dead the responsibility for the conclave falls upon you that but i, I kind of like to play around like with my well, significant I, I think, other i think you misunderstood me oh okay yes i think you misunderstood me because um, entertaining each other is is very important. Yes. It's just that I don't want it to be all the time. <laughs> I don't want to come home and uh, I'm tired and I want to relax and have a drink. And you say, "Honey, you've got to take me out now." Okay. I was hanging around all day and now I want to go out. See, that's not going to work with me. But don't get me wrong. I'm going to. Sp I want to spend a lot of time with you and and uh, go places and mm -hmm. have dinner and go to the okay. movies and uh, it's just that. I don't want you to depend on me to, to uh, you know, occupy your time all the time. Absolutely. Yeah, that but that entertaining to I me and occupying normal. time yeah. isn't the same thing. So. Well, <clears throat> but I understand. Okay. Thank you. Good. Okay. Now, before, uh, you know, that encounter kind of, could he be your type? Yeah. I love his hair. I love his hair. I like the way he's dressed. He looked like he came to, you know, go out on a date. So, yeah, he could be. Well, he came looking pretty good. Okay. Boy came All short. Right. Well, that boy came looking ready. Fresh. Thank you, though. Now, real quick, could she be someone that's your type? Sure. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. I love By the that. way, I had red hair when I was a little younger. <laughs> wow. Oh. You did? All oh, right. Okay. Oh, redheads here. Wow. That's, uh, too bad the, the real one didn't connect. Uh, let's go down here. Hello. Name, age, and why you pop? Liz, 67. Uh, I didn't see any physical attraction. Mm. Well, you know, if that's the case, there's not much I can do about that. Okay. Now, is she someone that's your type? Not particularly. Okay. What about her isn't your type? Um, well, I just, uh, it's just, you know, something you, you know right away whether you're attracted to the person or you're not attracted mm. to the person. And I'm not <laughs> attracted to the person. Okay. That works. Well, let's walk it on back. We still have some that have not popped their balloons. One, two, those three, want to talk four. To. Those are the, and those are the ones you are going to talk to. Now, let me ask you this. This is a pretty important question. Sure. Uh, and it's important for some real ones. Have you ever been married? Um, no, never been married. Oh, damn. Been married. Wow, I ask good questions. They should pay me more. Let's come on up and see what happens What's here. What's the reason uh, this time? You want, okay. So you uh, want somebody that's been married. Let's stop here. Now, I'm trying to figure her out. Now, name, her age, out. and why you popped. Okay, Linda, 60. I loved everything you had to say up until the part about not being married. Love the Northeastern accent, you know, even his name. I love the name Jack. But the never being married, never wanting to commit, not for me. Now, was that an issue for you? It's also a little bit, because um, I've been in some very long relationships. I was in a relationship for 10 or 15 years, but 
for one reason or another, we just didn't. But I understand. I understand what you're saying. I heard a real one ask a real question. Why didn't you ever marry him? If, uh... um, maybe I'm a little too particular. Mm. You know, okay. maybe I'm a little too particular, but um, uh, I am looking for love. Okay, you're here on a real one in the right place. Okay, now, before he said that, like you said, he's your type. No. I thought, I thought you were saying that. No, no, but my, I liked what I said. I love what he had to say. Why not say. Just pop your, pop However, your balloon earlier type, no. if, you, if he ain't Got your it. type? Now, was she someone that was your type or is your type? I think so. I think she's a very sexy lady. Wow. Sexy. Wow. Okay. You like me a little bit better now? <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, no. No. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, that's all right. You tried. All right. No is no. Let's walk on back then. Watch your step as we moon walk on back. Uh, you still have three that are unpopped, Jack. So you're doing quite well. Um, do you have an essential it question? It only that's right. That's all we're looking for is a real one. Mm -hmm. Do you have one more essential before I ask to borrow Teresa's toothpick um, and then you pop? Do you have one more essential? Um, I would say there's, there's more than one, but um, I would uh, uh, want the person that I'm going to have a relationship with to be in generally a person who is happy. Somebody that is in a good mood, is all quickly ready for a, to, to hug and to kiss, and um, you know, uh, somebody that I know uh, can't wait till I get home. Mm. <clears throat> she actually can wait till I get home. <laughs> can't, can't. Let's walk on down and see why she popped. I mean, I want you to I want you to finish, but that was pretty. You know, all of a sudden. I told you, them lad three ain't going. Well. My name is Patrice. I'm 65. Yeah. I pop because. Oopsie. I hurt pop. Yourself. I pop because you're a little sounding a little clingy. You know, hugging and kissing, can't wait till you get home. I like, I work, I have long days, I do a lot of stuff, and I, sometimes, you know, I just don't want, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I love sex, I love that, you know, the kissing and the hugging, but not all the time. Well, don't you want to come home and have somebody greet you with a hug and say, how was your day? Well, that's nice, okay. but, you know, sometimes, don't that's touch me, I'm like, well, and a rough day. That turns me off. I mean, well, I like, like a nigga, don't you? Like <laughs> flash, it's a little bit much sometimes. Well, I was uh, <laughs> talking about ripping your clothes off when I. Well, you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I say I would, would you change your mind? <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> oh, good. A balloon back. <laughs> you, do you want a balloon back? <laughs> Are you okay, or what do you want to do? Um, I. We'll go with keep that. moving, we'll go with brush. Once you pop, you know. But hey, if you were really moving. in that freaky mood, I could. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Well, let's walk it on back then. We have two that have not popped their hearts, okay. right. so you're still looking pretty good. Okay. Um, I'm gonna throw it to the ladies, Stacy or Joy. Do either of you have an essential question for Jack? Any children? I have uh, one more time. Any children? No, I don't have any children. Okay, Joy. Did you have a question by chance? Uh, let me walk over to you. I have two. Okay. Do you ha do you have any pets? I uh, have a little little pooch. Okay. And what have you done for a living before you retired? Oh, I was uh, in the textile business. Okay. Yes, for 50 years. What did you do? Well, not exactly, but, uh, <laughs> well, I, I sold uh, uh, fabric to... Uh, manufacturers who make uh, women's dresses and women, uh, okay. women's sportswear. I didn't sell the schmatas. I sold the fabric. That <laughs> to make the schmatas. Made the schmatas. <laughs> oh, okay. And sold the schmatas. And is, I, I didn't do that. Is schmata a word in your vocabulary usually? No. Okay. That's <laughs> fine. Got it. Does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. Well, let's back it on up because I might have to have you do something a little crazy. You might have to pop one of those balloons and possibly get you a real one. Unless you have Which one, one you want. I know what? you have a bunch, but one more essential to determine either one I of these I think you're going to fit the one in the blue. Uh, I would say that um, maybe that they would also love dogs because I love dogs. Really do. Do both of you just give me the ladies? Do you love dogs? Or? Yeah, okay. <laughs> let's ask you, do you love okay. dogs? Absolutely. Well, that might determine. Let me give you this, because uh, it might be time to 
start popping. Um, uh, pick the one you based want, on my boy. that answer, uh, do you think you uh, he might get know the one gonna in the green? Well, though. not only do I know who I'm going to pop, but the person knows who's holding the balloon who I'm going to pop. <laughs> okay. Because if person doesn't love dogs, then I, it's just I, she's not the right person for me. Well, go Sorry get, to, get to popping. Get to popping. Oh. All right. Well, uh, one more. I just do want to ask one more time. So she did say she's okay with dogs, Jack, right. but okay. you want love dogs. No, no. So as long as a person has got a certain amount of uh, um, affinity for dogs and and is uh, um, you know just likes being around them and isn't turned off by them and uh, might have to feed them and take them for a walk, you know, as long as a person is into that, I'm fine with that. Your response to that, Stacey? Well, um, I had a dog, Lance, that was a collie, and um, we slept together. And when I went off to school, we talked on the phone, and he always knew who was my, you know, okay with me and who wasn't okay. And I've always had dogs. But you got a dog you know, they're okay. Boy, there's other things that are okay, too. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? Let's step on back, Jack. Let's have Joy come on next to me because we might we don't be ready to do something. I've got a few questions before we do that. Um, any final questions between you two? Any final questions? Uh, I would just say, what's, what's your favorite thing to do? Walk my dogs around the block. Oh, boy. And, and, and cuddle I with them. I know where I'm going to get my exercise. <laughs> oh, wow. This man has game. Okay. He has riz, kids. Uh, now, then, what I'll yeah, ask riz. you is, uh, <laughs> could, do you feel that she could be your real one? Absolutely, I could. Do you feel he could be your Super. real one? Yeah. Which I can make some noise. We got a real one connection got here. Connection. I'll take that mic. I'll even take that balloon. Hey, y'all go walk some dogs. Y'all go walk some dogs. I will take the toothpick okay, too. They have to do everything. Hey, walk on off. Clap for him. Clap. Wow. Go walk some dogs. Oh my. And then somebody who is neat and can go out with me to concerts and uh, shows and things of that nature. You know, stand up comedy shows. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, buddy, yeah. Fuck this chances awesome. is up. Have fun with. Okay, well, those are some of those things. Now, tell me this: What are some of your red flags? Some things that if a partner does this in a relationship, it's a no-go for you. Uh, well, somebody who is spending a lot of money on makeups—that's mm. really a, a turn-off. Things out of again. You know, somebody who is not picking up after themselves. You know, just you know, and and I guess the last one would be somebody who is taking a lot of medicine you know mm. I'm looking for somebody who's healthier than myself okay so. all right we did get some real ones that uh pop their hearts uh let's go down and talk well, to them we'll start man, with this i don't i want to talk you'll, to them i think they you'll go be all straight right. to the yeah. one yeah. that won't won't on. uh, but let's see name age and why you pop sharice and i'm over 65 and i pop because i'm a crappy cook oh well i'm sorry to hear that but hopefully you'll uh you know it's always a good thing to try something new things. So, uh, <laughs> it'll be all right. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Now, uh, before he said the cook thing, is he someone else? you try to say, or hopefully you you'll learn how to cook. I was cook. thinking of something else, but it just flipped my, out of my mind. Um, it did. It just flipped. Um, possibly. Possibly? Yeah. What's possibly? What? Explain. Well, I'd have to know more about him. Mm, okay. Okay. So on the physical, though, it, it could be. It Maybe. Okay, now what about you? Is she someone that's your type? Uh, it could be, yeah. Could I can be. see that. See all of the could be's. Okay, sounds good. Let's walk on down to uh, another that could have been, but pop the balloon. Name, age, and why you popped. Hi, my name is Henri, and I'm 64. It's nice to meet you. Nice How are you? Too. Good. Um, I popped because I have two dogs, two Shih Tzus, oh. and they don't they don't shed, but I you they're were like my they best buddies, shed. Chester and Buster. So. Yeah. Um, I wish it was different. You know, as I said, it's just allergy. Otherwise, I... I, I totally like understand. Yeah. My daughter has allergies. She can't be around them. But, I mean, they're with me. She doesn't live with me, so... I see. <laughs> right. Now, before uh, you popped, is he someone that's your type? I wouldn't... I don't have, like, a physical type. Um, I go by a vibe and, like, what the inside of the person is. He's got a great smile, but um, I don't know. I think I might be a little bit overwhelming for him. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by overwhelming? Um, 
he looks like he might like somebody a little tamer. He might like me for fun, but I think in a serious relationship, he might be looking for somebody tamer. Is she correct about that? Yes, you nailed it. <laughs> Got it. Nailed okay. it. Okay. Oh, that would have be been too hard for me. Though. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Uh, name, age, and why you pop. Okay, I'm Linda. I'm 60. Um, I popped because um, he mentioned a lot of personality traits that he doesn't like. I happen to have them. I'm a great cook. I'm very neat. However, real relationships don't aren't established on that kind of a foundation. It's more about the values that people have and so that that was a real red flag for me and i thought the same thing he's a bit stayed mm -hmm. and i'm very well, uh, you very know, I don't single look it, but i'm a rebel mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> i am and 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 i tend to attract those stayed types and i'm like no 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 and it's like no uh, yeah uh, and i wouldn't be a and i didn't feel the attraction okay, either so not your type no no. Uh, well, it's, I'm, it's I'm sorry to hear sure, that. I was, huh? Didn't mean to come across that way. I mean, I definitely values. She don't want to chat, brother. They just know, gotta just go all over the world. Maybe I should have said it a little bit different. <laughs> but thanks for the feedback. That's good to know. Is she someone that's your type? Uh, maybe. 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 What's the maybe? What could have made her for sure? Well, um, I, I think she said, you know, she's a good cook. Mm. So well, that's part of that. Part of it, mm -hmm. and also. The fact that she's a rebel, you know, I see potential for doing they some fun They must be hiding now, bro. Mm, so, but with Henri, but... They might be hiding there was, in the studio. But, well, she was a little bit too hot. Oh, a little too rebel. Oh, I see. Less rebellious, but still... Oh, got it. Okay. Makes sense. Let's keep moving. Name, age, and why you pop. All right, what's she finna Patrice, say? She finna I'm give 65. us one. Patrice finna give us one. I was giving you a whole bunch of chances, and you lost it on the no cats and dogs. Because oh. Claritin, or not do a commercial, but there's allergy medicine out there, and I have friends. It's sometimes diet, and, you know, I, my cat sleeps in the bed with me, and she has her she, you'd have to pass the cat test and then the other thing you don't cook at all now i could teach you to cook but do you like to take people and go to nice restaurants no uh -oh. yeah that's a good <laughs> point you know i should have mentioned that because yeah and and make then fun things together you know obviously we'll be going to a restaurant and and, and such like that. Uh, that like that's that's good. Food. That's right. good because yeah. you know I'm not the greatest cook, and, I, and and cooking is fun to do together. And maybe right. I could teach right. you. But if you don't cook, we could go out to dinner. But you don't like the cats. Well, I mean, you're you, it's not that you don't like it. You're allergic, and yes. that would be a big. If you yes. couldn't get a some kind of pill to prevent that, it, yeah. Then I get hooked up to a medicine, which I don't want to. Well, that's yeah, not, yeah, yeah. We no, no, we don't want to do drugs. Okay, yeah. now was he someone? What is he someone that's your type? Mm -hmm. He could be, but I waste a lot of money on makeup and other silly stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, but you can't tell me how I spend my own money, so. That, that is true. I mean, now, is she someone that's your type? Um, not really. Okay, um, why not? Well, it's, I don't know, the, 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 I didn't feel like the chemistry. Mm, so, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> that's okay. You got to feel that chemistry. Yeah, you got to. Yeah. Let's move forward. Let's go a little forward next. Uh, name, age, and why you popped. Uh, Liz, at 67, I just popped because uh, when you said about being neat, I mean, I'm, cl I, I'm a clean person, but when someone says that, 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 to me, that's sort of like a red flag, like uh -oh. you're too neat, you know, and then if you come okay. over to my place, you'll like, oh, you need to clean this, you need to clean that, and, and I don't like guys that do that. <laughs> you know, I have, I have Liz said, I ain't trying to do type, uh -huh. but, you know, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm, come on with thanks for sharing the, the, how you felt about it, the word I mentioned, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I see why it becomes a turnoff when I yeah, mention that word. <laughs> yeah, because like I'm like, oh my God, is he going to let you know if we go out together to and he comes to my place, he's going to so make me get on my pop, knees bro. and clean. <laughs> not, you know, I was not, like, no, nah, no, nah, we don't do those kind <laughs> of things anymore. Yeah, that is true. That is. True. Is he someone that's your type? Uh, honestly, I, I would say like maybe. Uh, 95 percent type the five percent was the neat thing that kind of that kind of just threw me right there yeah. those are like little red flags to you said, me oh, so. is she someone that's your type uh i i can see you know a potential there you know it seems like uh she has like 
sparks in her eyes. Mm -hmm. and it's fun person. And, and Thank nice you. Smile. Thank so, you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. We, Love that. We give it a try. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, no, nah, we can't now. The heart's Dang. gone. But let's move on back some. It's okay. Oh, look, you oh. done messed it up, bro. You don't supposed to say that, that bro. Uh, you were holding on. So uh, name, age, and why you popped. I'm over 50, Stacy, and um, I. I was waiting for him to say something that would be more appealing to me. And I was waiting for him to say that he could hire a cook. Oh. Mm -hmm. And if he's an architect, yeah. oh, I would you imagine that they watching. make enough money to nah, hire a sorry. cook and please nah, everybody. Nah. Nah. Well, is that something you ever considered? If I could afford it. <laughs> what is yeah. it? Yeah, I mean. Uh, so before he did not, oh, you were holding man. on. So he is you someone that's hanging on for the wrong reason. No, but uh, it's what's inside that counts. And I was waiting for the, you the mental, on. What's not, inside not, uh, that wallet. you know, the thought process of yeah. wanting to please a lady and um, uh, meet somewhere to, if you can't cook, I don't cook, but let's get a cook. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, get, Got it. Is she huh? someone that's your type? Um, not, 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 mm. not, 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 I don't know. It just kind of uh, felt like she wasn't as friendly as uh, the other lady. Mm. And uh, the first impression, again, this is based on all first impression. I may be all wrong. Impression. So that that basically was it. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure where we were yeah, going. Yeah, she was sticking this. around. When you said you were artist, she thought you had a bag on you. I understand. Uh, well, it looks like let's walk on back some because it looks ship. like all of the balloons have uh, all the hearts have been popped all the real ones have said uh not so much but you still are a real one can we still clap it up for this real one thank you, thank you so much i'm heartbroken but you will be okay you have to go with the flow maybe we'll have you back on a future episode okay. but i'll take that for you thank you so much clap it up one more time for eric as he heads out that way head on out that way thank you so much eric we appreciate you thank you so much thank you folks Let's get ready for our next real one. All right, let's bring out our next real one. Come yeah, on in, come up, on in. You handsome real one. And perfect, and you can stand right there for me. How's it going today? Oh, fine. Could you tell us your name, your age, and what you do? My name is Cheng. Uh, my age is 65. I was doing uh, some banking job, and uh, right now I'm retired. Mm, very good, okay. Banking, banking job. <laughs> Very yeah, good. Thanks. Okay. Now tell us this. What are you looking for in a real one? What are you looking for? Uh, most, yeah, everybody's very pretty. Yeah, but, um, you know, I'm looking for some decent, some, uh, you know, manner and uh, nice looking. I didn't looking for that much, but. <laughs> Specific enough. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Sorry. Tell but us some more, though. What else are you for? A real one. What are you looking for? <laughs> he said, oh. <laughs> Most, yeah, everybody's very pretty. Yeah, but, um, you know, I'm looking for oh, some shit. decent, some, uh, you know, manly <laughs> and uh, nice looking. I didn't looking for that much, but. <laughs> we'll get there. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Tell us some more, though. What else are you looking for? Yeah, and then uh, a little more kindness <laughs> and, uh, you know, an easy, easy talk. Uh, maybe we have yeah, a enjoy my, uh, any activity together if she like it. Like, uh, I like uh, tennis, jogging, swimming. Mm. If she like those kind of activity, yeah, it will be f welcome to join me. Awesome. Okay. Well, we're going to ask one more question before we go to our pop balloon. Uh, what are some of your red flags, things that if the your partner does these in a relationship, it's a no-go for you? Um, for me, I'm not that specific the red flag, but the thing is that she, if she talks too much, I don't like it. And, <laughs> okay. and, you don't want and, nobody uh, nagging. Uh, if she asks me, uh, keep, oh, why don't honey, we go to shopping, we go to do have dinner <laughs> tomorrow. So I don't like that kind of stuff. Mm. I just stay oh, with the oh, whole buddy, bro. Doing something with, with the, you know, you know, come on, watching movie, on talking, walking, those kind of stuff. I'm re okay, I'm okay with it. But too much asking, you spend the money. Uh, it's it's too much headache for me. I already have a <laughs> get, bro but, said, get out of here. Okay. Okay. Try to go my All right. Pocket. Well, we did get some pop balloons. Let's come he on over get and out see out why their head, hearts head. were popped. Let's start right here. Name, age, and come on in just a little for me. Come oh. on in. That's perfect. Name, age, and why you popped. My name is Sharice. I'm over 65, and the reason I popped was that you weren't specific enough in, to me 
and what you were looking for in a woman? That's not my problem. <laughs> I'm not very specific thing in my mind, but you know, it, first impression is more very important to me because uh, when I see the person for the first time, you got some feeling. That's very important to me, but I don't have any specific. You have to be just like that. You have to be just like that. It's like a feeling. So yeah, I can he, he even express me. what is it. But I, I, you know, from your heart. So it's just gonna stop. You know. Now, before he was, didn't specify enough, maybe just based on physical appearance, is he someone that's your type? Well, before I answer that, I just want to say, I don't, when it comes to being specific, I don't mean you have to be picky about this, this, and that. Just kind of like, you know, what you're looking for. You're looking for someone that loves sports, or you're look, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, what was the question? Uh, is he someone that's, <laughs> I hear what you're saying, though. You mean in general, <laughs> is he someone that could be your type before, you know, he didn't specify, just based on physical appearance, could he be someone that's your type? Yeah, because he's not overweight. Mm, you don't like him chunky. I used to, but I, I gave that really? up. Well, we no, you don't. You gave the big news up. <laughs> okay. Now, is she someone that could have been your type or be your type? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, why not? <laughs> Yeah, because she popped the balloon first. <laughs> right. Hey, I right. rock with him, bro. What about, what about based on just attraction? Initial, you know, you said the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's okay. She's okay, but well, she went from pretty to okay. It has a different, you know, you know, you know, specs. Hey, but is it? He like she's okay. She's very pretty, but it's not. She's not my type. Got it. Not your type. Okay, hey, let's move I'm on down. Let's move him. on down. Uh, we had a few more pop balloons here. Uh, name, age, and why you popped. I'm Linda. I'm 60. Linda I don't want nobody. For several reasons. Um, most of all, when he said he's a homebody, you know, doesn't like someone going out. And I'm very social. I have a, I have friends. I like doing a lot. I have a lot of activities. I'm very Linda active. I'm not into the retirement thing. I won't be for 15 years at least. And I'm not a homebody. So. Um, but no, he, he wouldn't be my tie. He doesn't make good eye contact. And he's, I like tall men, 5'11 and up. Just like you. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. I'm just the host, though. I can't, I can't take her home, I wish. Uh, but now, is she someone that's your type? Uh, yeah, she's okay. But uh, as you said, I'm not the homeboy. I'm a, I'm a, I'm homebody. A homebody. You are a homeboy. So, but uh, yeah, I, I spend the, the time in outside with the social with somebody. But thing is, some woman keep asking me spend money with me. So it's like, hey, honey, why don't you go out there buying? That uh, that even doesn't need me. We don't need those kind of stuff. But they keep asking those kind of stuff. Brother, he ain't a tree. Like that, but. I'm not, I'm not saying you are those kind of type, but, you know, it's kind of the same you know, spectrum, category, something like that, so. Mm. Relationships usually involve money because there's a high that's rate true. of return. <laughs> R-O-I. You yield a lot as a man. Yeah, then, teaching uh, us some finance, okay. Yeah, well, Very good. Well, let, let's move forward. Uh, I will ask that in a moment. Um, I can ask now. Come on up with me just a little more. Real quick question, random. Have you ever been married? Yes. Okay. That's why I'm uh, single right now. I don't want to spend the money that much. <laughs> so is that why the marriage didn't work? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, then. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll go forward and back, uh, but let's start here. Name, age, and why you pop. My name, excuse me. My name's Patrice. I'm 65. Hey, bro, he and, had been a yeah, that was a good one right there. Same age. But. I would probably drive you nuts because I'm a little hyperactive and I have lots of stories that always end up longer than they should be. So I talk a lot and I, I can be chill. And then, oopsie, she brought up a point. You should be looking at me right now. Yeah. 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 You got to look at the person who's speaking. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm looking at the ceiling. <laughs> that part of the ceiling is not speaking. <laughs> I'm speaking to you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like I said, I, I like your, you're not too short because I do like I'm tall, but you're taller than me and you look fit. But like I said, well, you can see I'm jumping away here. Like I'd probably I'm probably driving you absolutely nuts. And, but it is a big thing. You, no, okay. there, you there you go. Okay. Yeah, because at the eyes are the soul in the communication. If okay. you're, if you're side eyeing, I mean, what are you hiding? You can't I'm not hiding. That means I don't like it. Well, <laughs> you don't like me. You can look me in the eye and tell me that. 
I, I have, I have. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just sorry. But, but so that's it. Because the sorry. warmth comes. See, now you're looking at me, and I can see your yeah. nice eyes, <laughs> nice smile. Yeah. But, you know, things to work on. But like I said, chat, chat will drive you cuckoo. <laughs> now, uh, is, was before those things were said, or was he someone that's your type? Well, there was a lot with the physique, and you know, got the hair going, and he got a good <laughs> smile, and la he likes laughing. But he doesn't keep the eyes. The eyes need to be oh, here. Because okay. look at this. Focusing on your eyes, right? That's what you need, right? Eyes, uh, and okay. you can check it out. <laughs> now, is she someone that's your type? Uh, I can keep looking at you just like that. <laughs> so I don't think so. Mm, <laughs> okay. Nah. We won't go deeper on that or I might cry. Let's move forward some. Uh, name, age, and why you popped. Liz, 67. Uh, I, because one, the eye contact is really important. I, I know, but we, we, we convinced you to do it. I got the love. We convinced you to do this. <laughs> Now you realize, now when you next time you go on a date, you're going to be looking at her instead of looking oh, sure. at somewhere else. I keep my mind, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and other, uh, you know, were you married? Yeah, I say, yeah. He was, how long were you married for? Um, hey, sir. Can you? What you over here doing, shit?
Everybody knows. And why did you break up? I told you already. He did break up. He did. Yeah, because it ended. The marriage ended. The en oh, it just ended. He said yeah. because of. Yeah, yeah. Spent too much money. I don't oh. like. So, <laughs> so, oh, so okay, okay. Okay. Well, just basically. Hey, he I, said she was a you bill. Know, you know, there's give and take. It's Wednesday. You're gonna cook up a seafood win. And still in relationships and I, I feel like it would be more only your way instead of both ways. Is she right about that? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the honesty. Okay. Now, uh, like before any of that, is he someone that could be your type? He could have been. He could have been. But then when he started talking about, you know, the money factor, it's like, you know, something like that should be later on in a relationship, not right away. Don't misunderstand me. I'm not Focusing on the money fact, but the thing is, life is marriage. Life is different. We have to make a living together, right? So, uh, in some limited uh, the income I have, uh -huh. we have some budget, we have something like that, right? Right. So, but some lady and uh, they don't think about that much. They just want to spend first, and then I fill it up. It keep going on and up. Okay, I, I see where you're coming from. I see where you're coming yeah. from. With that. I mean, so, I'm not like that. that. Well, I mean, yeah. You're not like that. Did you possibly want your balloon back or your? No. <laughs> All right. Let's walk it on back. We did get more. Hey, I like Let's stop right here with this lovely lady. Name, She's age, pop. and why you pop. Hello. My name is Henri. I'm 64. And I, I popped because you were talking about the money thing. And we're a couple. I could have my own money and not be asking you to spend it all the time. Well, it's fine. Like, but in a marriage life, it's not like that. Did you get married before? No. You see, you don't know what the marriage before is, right? Oh. And life is, right? Yeah, once you're getting together, it's the same house, same living. We have to have a share of everything. Most of, not everything. But money is money. So we, you need some money for making living together. But if income is not enough, we have to make a plan and we have to make a schedule on this, right? So how do you know that the income's not enough? I might make more money than you do. Oh, in that case, I don't have any complaint. Well, <laughs> 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 so, it, it was just that I really like the way you look. You got a great smile. Yeah. And guess what? I really don't mind that you don't have eye contact because you have an eye contact with me. And I think maybe you just need somebody that, you know, you think deserves eye contact because you haven't stopped staring at me one time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is she someone that's your type? Uh... I don't think so. <laughs> but you couldn't keep your he eyes ain't off. Going. Because I like a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> butterfly, that's my thing. Butterfly. Now you kind of already said it, but he could be someone that's your type. He he could be somebody that's my type. I, I think he, you know, I think they kind of like overjudge the eye thing because he hasn't, and maybe they got you got trained because they told you. <laughs> so, I'm like, so that's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I should look at. And that's you a good thing. That's a good thing. But overall, yes, yeah, very well put together. Thank I like you. the fact that he likes to do a lot of things outdoor. He never said he was a homebody. He said he likes to swim. Um, tennis, do it, tennis, and everything. And, John so, and I'm a good John listener. This so. is a tennis court occupied by pickleball play. Yeah. So I can't play tennis anymore. <laughs> so I changed to the pickleball. Okay. <laughs> so that's good. So thank you. Thank you. Got it. Let's walk on back. We did have one more pop. Uh, name, age, and why you pop. I'm over 50, Stacy. And why did I pop? Stacy, why well, you pop? He's a very no. nice person. He seems very, very affable and very, very nice and kind okay. and very shy. Um, but it, there was too much focus on money, and to me, it should be um, <laughs> money is no object. If you want it, and I have it, you can have it. Uh, yeah, because I, I've got money like that. No, if he, he should be. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> Maybe. Hey, I want to run somebody dry. Financial fields because I always look at the money. Yeah, but but you know, frankly, the money is a fact for life. I'm not saying I'm just all oh, money is everything, but. When you make a, make a living, you need money. I agree, but um, there are poor people who love each other, and if somebody wants something, and if they have the money, it's yours. So That's it's why they're sharing, poor. Not, not a matter of, um, in other words, it's not, it's not as important. Yeah. It's not as important. I know, it's a beautiful yeah. story, in, 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 but real world, you step out the door. <laughs> But I'm not. <laughs> the thing is, it's not many people just like that. <laughs> I'm looking for love. Yeah, looking for love. But you need the food too. 
right? Well, you know, there's always enough. <laughs> always enough. Okay, if you're not, so yeah, if you say so, yeah, I agree with that. You can share. You can share. Yeah. Even if you don't have enough food, you can share. This is America. People do not starve to death. Okay. <laughs> All right. She, All right. Now, okay. do you, we have a lot of way to get it? Right. Do you think she could be someone that's your type? Uh, I don't think so. Why not? Um, I don't know. It, my heart didn't pump it up. Mm, okay. Now, do you think he could be someone that's your type? Um. Well. Um, too much money, huh? <laughs> the, uh, the spark's not there, but you know you can overcome it by other, other, attributes. Mm -hmm. So it would have taken some time and uh, yeah. the money, you know, too, too much focus on money, 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 money. Uh, don't, don't misunderstand that. I'm not too much focused on money, money, money. But the thing is that money is base. I'm talking about the base, base and the life. Uh, on top, you can do whatever you want, share, share love, share food, whatever. But you need the money to To me, base the base it. is a good heart. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, the heart, yeah, heart based. That, that's true. Money's the last. Yeah, money's the last. Yeah. And how you view other people. Yep. That yeah. could be the reason you're single, buddy. You put yeah, money yeah, first. And, <laughs> but it's okay. Let's walk on back. Let's walk on back. It does look like all of our real ones pop their hearts. Uh, but you still are a real one. Can we still clap it up for this real one? Can we still clap it up? I'm going to take your mic. Thank you so much. You can head out that way. Thank you so much, kind sir. Maybe you'll find someone that's money hungry like you or concerned. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Clap one more time, ladies. I will say this, folks. Thank you so much for watching this wonderful episode of A Real One. We're hoping that we can get more seasoned hey, folks man. that are real ones and ready for love. So if you are looking for love, why don't you go to that link in the description and do what you're supposed to do. Hey, that was a good episode for um the Senior Citizens Pop Balloon. Link to the video will be in the description below. Y'all drop y'all comments on what y'all think about this. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Make sure you stay tuned. Mo, he coming soon. And we out.